Yes, in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> so, at 3 p.m. on August 23rd, 2013, I split an order of jumbo pretzels with Rachel Zavix at our local brother's bar and grill. <laughs> After a long time of Long Islands, we discovered we both shared an appreciation for cosplay culture, gender theory, adventure time, video gaming culture, and of course, various poems and poets. Our convo was remarkably jumbo. <laughs> Unlike the pretzels, which we agreed weren't as good as the dipping sauce. The problem was that their jumbo had been exaggerated. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's no exaggerating Rachel's jumbo. <laughs> Always dressed to transgress, her poems are hydra-sized and syntactically sprawling in a technodrome of conduit veins that shimmer a sharp, sharp silver. Imagine a landscape of coated tissues where one royal rat king signifies many, where if you lose your head, you're probably a triple X-rated prince, where another, where another night means yet another curtain call, where Shakespeare's internal organs have been replaced with a motherboard's throb and a sequence of circuitry language. For example, click, five, hundred, litted, I, want, equals, click, one thousand bodies sliding down across a flickering screen, he, click. That said, <laughs> Here she is, an update you should all download before what will surely be a most unforgettable apocalypse, <laughs> Rachel Zavix. from a collection I'm working on called uh, Rat King, code name right now, anyway. Um, but this is from a different collection that's kind of taking a back burner. But I thought I'd read it, because it's difficult to read, it's good vocal exercise, and it's fun. Okay, it's called Love Search. <clears throat> Scent of peats smack ing wide and salivate ing out the gold in stomach sweat and lilac overlapping rims the Five hundred lidded I want equals one thousand bodies siding slow across a flick er ing screen. He match is mewling limb to her cyber flesh and tear ing mathematically with poison. Chromatic scales interlocking and unknowing here is the perfection in pixels. <clears throat> so the next poem I'm going to read is from my Rat King collection. Um, this one's called Glitterification, or Corpse Royalty Parade, or Embalming Party. <clears throat> <laughs> Enter palatial suite, Dawn. A princess wipes her daughter's tears before she leaves, dies, carefully. Golden-haired and armored beaten, silver bearing a crown of piercing, shaking, thorn-laced roses, black and lustered brilliant, with flecks of scorching ruby blood. Princess, yummy and resolutely glistening, addresses daughter. One day you'll dip your eyes in sparkle, cut long your glimmer tendons, fresh meat and slender, paling ankle bones, increasing dark matter of your organs sheathed in starry spectrum, every ligament and arching tendon, tender and heroic. You will grasp, we are, we come from, I brought you here to free burning, perish, through the annals of historically etched infinity. They'll carve your gore into the marbled columns of their tourmaline-veined palace, and the world will cease to slink into its toothy hole. You must believe that every death is purposeful. You must believe that every death is glamorous. 
because today murder is, the world is, obsession is like, you'll know the taste of death, spectacle, the crowning constellation of your glossifying sacrifice. Exit palatial sweet dawn. A tiny multitude of crimson rivulets twinkling down her, their face, faces, coalesce and drip, a darkly gleaming reservoir. The corner of her child's glitz, salt rimmed eye, violet eye, she leaves the dressing room, gladiatorial, and tomorrow her ensemble will be considered quite in vogue. Corpse heroic, somewhat lamenting. Another glitter fucked entry in the Rat King's bedazzled murder blog. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so. This one is called Ultra Whore. <clears throat> Enjoys attention, acute silver spines and violet over every surface. Is never last, but swanks survivability. Rat queen. Less matter is better. More art is painted teeth filed into rows like tiny pearl cap pins and knives, a forest of knives and garbage. Full faceted nests of knifing, worn into the molting contours of her hotly sweating skeleton more rat queen. Underneath and again, suffocating neat breasts into their serrated mouths, orgasmic necrosis, oh mega lust, dismantling over <coughs> rankly weeping trellises. When I come, 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 when I come. When I come, 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 when I come. There is always resulting stardom and knives. Yeah. So the next one I'm going to read is called Electro Jesus, and I'm going to be using my, my awesome cards. Um, <clears throat> so this one is called Electro Jesus, and it takes the form of an email, a mass email. <clears throat> no subject. Attachment. <laughs> bebe. Dot JPEG. <laughs> Electro Jesus kisses a rotund yet sparkling baby. <laughs> my dearest insert name here. There is an abyss, dark and unsettling, hungry down the devil snarls, a seditious sadist, rows of teeth and sizing virgins, tonguing pustling lacerations. Don't forget the apocalypse. I guess Rat King is hot. Rat King slays royalty. Rat King flames trolls on the internet. Rat King only buys free ring chicken eggs. Like, I don't know, whatever. But they must be destroyed before the world. You can be saved. Follow the epic journey via my blog as I obtain illustrious powers in preparation for impending. Oh my god, oh my god, battle! Battle, 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 of titanic proportions. You won't want to miss a single moment of time frozen between two behemoths rising up from silver dust of battle. <laughs> Hostile forms in the wind of a greater storm, a greater mouth than ever, opens hard and black, and everything one slides determined garbage into the yawning hole of this smack down. I then, latest for now. <laughs> P.S. A tantalizing excerpt. This week, obtaining the power of lasers. <laughs> Incalescent in darkness, hot and heavy for the coolness of the velveteen night and power, distortion and stars. Tell me, what is impuissant about an android, metallic heart of flutter with righteousness, and smoldering laser beam eyeballs? Seriously, guys, check out my blog. <laughs> okay, so for the next poem, uh, I'm actually going to call up some people. Come help me out. Um, and read it. It's in a play format, so. Alice, Jeez, Paul, Sarah, if you guys want to come help me out, that'd be great. We'll let Alice take the mic. I'll just stand really near it. I'm six feet. Oh, it's six feet. Here we go. There we go. Here 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 it's important, guys. You'll understand. Yeah, they get the
This is just playing this better ahead of time, but you know, things. I actually finished writing it today, so it's pretty new. Oh, parts of it are new. Alright, All right, um, this is called Death Scene 2. There are many. Um, <laughs> um, I'm going to be reading the narrator. Um, and you'll find out who everyone's reading. So let's let's just go for it, guys. Never perform this really like I don't know. Alright, we'll see. Enter Rat Queen's boudoir desk. Rat King, a many reaching shape, coalesces, crawls, drags from the darkness of the trellis awning, no moon, sun fading, smother into the open night. The blackish shapes outlined and moving writhe, numerous against the needled light of dying stars. Rat Queen snorting sparkles. Tonight there is something ominous in the slavering breath of your many mouths. Rat King. We have not come for pleasure. <laughs> Rat Queen. There is always pleasure to be had. Rat King. We just don't think it's working out. Rat Queen. I am the most delicious queen any part of you has ever fucked. Rat King. It's not us. It's you. <laughs> Rat Queen. I am Megalux. I am royalty. I am the most orgasmic danger. I have become the star of this production. Rat King. We need something more. <laughs> Rat Queen. Every head is always hungry for a taste of my resplendency. Rat King. We are moving in different directions. <laughs> Rat Queen. The life of royalty is fraught with peril. Rat King. The novelty is gone. <laughs> Rat Queen. But in the end, the queen gives way to Rat, Rat King. We have found another consort, more suited to our many tastes, and there is only room for one. Disembowels and delims Rat Queen. Oh my god. <laughs> Rat Queen. Ah, I am slain! Dies. <laughs> When we delimbed her, majority us were devastated. So thirsty we could taste the blood before we tore it. <laughs> she was celebrity, a heartless queen, and last of her dramatic kind. The tiny sounds she made as we sank into her starry guts. However, <laughs> we are a king in love. It all belongs to us. And love demands a certain fondness for disemboweling without hesitation. Prince Triple X. She is so much good. Sparkling in already. An empty torso and a broken crown. You're cleaning this in the house. There is so much more to come. <laughs> what atrocities remain? At night we dream of hell. There is so much more to come. <laughs> Mercurial monster, you are eating an all alone. What shall we say to you, Dr. Nandan? It's far beyond anything. Racking. <laughs> they stroke the head and hold it close. At night we dream of hell. Fade to black. <laughs> that, that, yeah, that was it. <laughs> called The Rat King's Necromance. Um, I guess I probably should have told you guys this before the, before the previous poem, but uh, um, so there's a character, Prince Triple X, who's just like a head. He doesn't have a body. He's like decapitated and Rat King just kind of carries him around and stuff. <laughs> so, and he falls in love with him. Um, so uh, this is kind of about, about that, an important moment in their relationship. <laughs> 
<laughs> so the Rat King's Necromance. And there's some audience participation, guys, so... Just watch the signs. <clears throat> Held tight against the golden flesh of his slender neck, Heroin's silver body becomes adjacent to Triple X's head, is controlled by Triple X's head, but ultimately grapples with Triple X's phantom body syndrome. The body, ghost, wears a coal necklace of blood, and the princess, ghost body, decays slower than the <coughs> prince's head, ghost, because the head is a pentagram. The body sparkles. The body is sewn into place. Small pearl cap pins hold still the column of the neck, and then the silver threading. Black occult magic pulls the body tight. Ta-da! Undead, the head is something like meat. Undead, the body is something like screaming. <laughs> Such love as this inspires not just sighs and heartfelt longing, but also anonymous sweaty breathing. Uh, well, that was wonderful. That was